Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about how to do unit conversions. So what is a unit conversion? Well, as you know, there are a lot of different ways to measure things. For example, a measurement of distance can have all different kinds of units. Distance can be measured in inches, yards, feet, meters, centimeters, millimeters, miles, kilometers, and a whole lot of other ways. Well, somebody might give you a measurement in one unit, but you actually need the measurement in a different unit. For example, somebody might tell you that their house is 2.2 miles away, but you need that measurement to be in feet for some reason. So the question becomes, how can we convert 2.2 miles into feet? Well, this isn't too hard to do, as long as we have some sort of relationship between the two units that we're converting between. So we need some sort of an equation that says how many feet are in a mile or how many miles are in a foot. You could look it up or you might know it off the top of your head. The relationship between miles and feet is that one mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, how are we gonna use that to convert 2.2 miles into feet? Well, let me move this down just a little bit. With these conversions, it's all about units. You have the unit of miles up here in what would be considered the numerator of the problem, and we want feet up here. So what we can do is multiply our 2.2 miles by what I call a conversion factor. We put our relationship between miles and feet into a fraction in a way that will cancel the units so that we're left with what we want. So in this example, we wanted miles to cancel out, and they do because you have miles in the numerator and miles in the denominator. The unit that we're then left with is feet, exactly what we're looking for. So then all we have to do is multiply these fractions out. We can think of 2.2 is 2.2 over 1, and all we have to do is multiply 2.2 by 5280 to get our answer. And if I did my multiplication correctly, should end up with 11,616 feet. So we've determined that 2.2 miles is the exact same thing as 11,616 feet. Now a question you might be asking is, why are we allowed to do this? Why can we just take our 2.2 miles and multiply it by 5280 to get an answer? Usually in math, we're not allowed to just multiply randomly by numbers. Well, the reason we're allowed to multiply by this thing in green right here is because 5280 feet is the exact same thing as one mile. So when you put it into a fraction like this, this fraction has a value of just one. And as we learned in algebra, we're allowed to multiply things by one. And the vocabulary for a fraction that has a value of one is a unit fraction. And just to kind of jog your memory about unit fractions, back in the day we could have a fraction like two-thirds, and maybe we wanted to find a common denominator with another fraction. We were allowed to multiply this fraction by a unit fraction, two over two. And when we do that, it turns our two-thirds into four-sixths. So that's just another example of where we've used a unit fraction in math before. Okay, let's do another example. Let's convert 100 ounces into pounds. Again, all you have to do is find a relationship between ounces and pounds. I'm looking it up right now, and it turns out that one pound is 16 ounces. So we put that conversion into a unit fraction, and the important part is making sure that our units line up. So if we want to get rid of our ounces, we need ounces in the denominator of our unit fraction, just like that. The ounces cancel, we're left with pounds, which is what we want. And if we multiply these fractions together, we get 100 over 16 pound. Well, that's not a very useful number as far as pounds go. So what we want to do is actually do the division here. And if you do the division, you can check my work on the side over here. You get 6.25 pounds. So we learned that 100 ounces is 6.25 pounds. All right, these conversions can get complicated in a couple of different ways. Let me show you one way it can become a little bit more complicated. What if we wanted to convert 1,000 inches into meters. Well, I'm looking at my list of conversions here and I don't see any relationship directly between inches and meters. So what we need to do is we need to come up with a plan. I see a relationship between inches and feet and I see a relationship between feet and meters. So what we can do is we can go from inches to feet to meters. That actually involves two conversions. And those conversions are one foot is 12 inches and one meter is approximately 3.28 feet. Just something to keep in mind, this little squiggly equal sign is an approximate sign. That just means that one meter is not exactly 3.28 feet. So on this problem, we're approximating just a bit. But let's do it. Let's start with 1,000 inches. Let's convert first to feet. We do that by orienting our unit fraction so that inches are in the denominator. And then we need to convert from feet to meters. And again, we use our unit fraction oriented so that the feet will cancel. Our inches cancel, our feet cancel, and we've now converted 1,000 inches into meters. All we have to do now is some multiplication and some division. And you'll want to check my work on this, but I'm getting 25.41 meters. So we just learned that 1,000 inches is 25.41 meters. Okay, let's leave it at there for now. You'll do a couple more complicated examples in class. I want to get you a video quiz. For your video quiz, do these two problems. First, convert 
100 meters into yards, and then convert 1,000 centimeters into feet. On both of these, make sure you to show your work. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.